Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizet with BuildBox. In this video, I wanted to quickly show you how to use the Gatekeeper feature. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how to use the feature, and so I thought I'd show you how to use it properly in this video. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select Create New and choose one of the presets that BuildBox has for us. In this video, I'm going to use Default Portrait as an example, but I'm actually gonna use a special BB doc that our artist Danny Orheda created with better graphics. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that now. So this is the special preset that Danny created, and let's go ahead and hit preview up in the upper right hand corner and check out this game. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start, and you can see here that we've got a ball that's moving straight ahead, straight forward at uh, 90 degrees, and we've got little black triangles with particle emitters as enemies. So first thing I'm gonna do is, for this example today, I'm gonna slow down the force movement speed because this is a little bit fast to register. So I'm gonna keep it in debug mode because I wanna use this later, but I'm gonna exit out of this preview. So I'm gonna grab my world here, I'm gonna select it here in the center, and I'm gonna go down here to the bottom right hand corner, and I'm gonna change the force movement from min 75 to min 40, and I'm gonna change the max from 250 to 40 as well. And I'm going to lower the increase to zero instead of 2.5. Now let's go ahead and check the speed on that. So I'm gonna hit play, I'm gonna hit start, and it's moving much slower now. So now this is gonna be a lot easier for me to show you this example. So I'm gonna exit out of the preview real quick, and I'm gonna double click on my world here in the center. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know about gatekeepers is that they work hand in hand with portals. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a portal and we're gonna bring it out here into our scene. So I'm gonna bring this portal right here dead center, and so the character is gonna go right into this portal, and I'm gonna create a couple other portals to work as an exit. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put in about three, or I'm just gonna put in about two portals in here as the exit. Now you can see here that when we press play, the character goes into the portal and then it's duplicated and you get two characters now. So this is pretty fun because then you have one character who's extra and you can keep playing with just the one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna exit out of this preview right now. And I'm gonna show you how the gatekeeper works. So I'm gonna drag a gatekeeper out into my scene and I'm going to stretch it out across so that the character has to move through the gatekeeper. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that this portal over here on the right is just a little bit ahead of this one. So this one is going to hit the gatekeeper first. Now, one thing you wanna notice about the gatekeeper is that in the properties section, the passed amount is set to one. Now, what this means is only one of the characters is allowed to pass by the gatekeeper and the other one will be deleted. Let's go ahead and take a look at this right now. So I'm gonna hit play in the upper right hand corner and preview this. So I'm gonna hit start and you can see the character goes into the portal, copies are made, but only one is made through the gatekeeper. The only one is able to pass through. Let's see that again. So I'm gonna hit start, copied, and then once the first one goes through the gatekeeper, the second one, as soon as it hits the gatekeeper, that one's deleted. All right, so I'm gonna exit out of preview real quick, and I'm gonna show you one other thing about Gatekeeper that's pretty interesting. So it really does matter about which one hits the Gatekeeper first. So if I take this portal, and I move these over here a little bit, and I create another portal, I hit D on my keyboard just to duplicate portals, I'm gonna make sure that this first one right here, when the character is copied and duplicated, and I'm gonna make sure that this first character here in the center is able to get through, but these two are gonna hit the gatekeeper and be deleted. Let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So I'm gonna hit start, copies are made, and then these two are dropped off because this character, this collision shape, went through the gatekeeper first, so that is acceptable. So I'm gonna exit out of preview and I'm gonna show you if I take this portal and I move it back, and I move this one over here on the left and I move it up in front of these two, now this one is gonna be the one that passes through the gatekeeper. So I'm gonna hit play again real quick. I'm gonna hit start. And you can see now that this character is the only one that is able to pass through the gatekeeper. 
And so it's a pretty cool little feature. There's lots of ways you can use this in your game. And you can also set it so that more than one character is able to pass through the gatekeeper. Let's go ahead and select the gatekeeper and change the passed amount property to two instead of one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit play again. And let's watch these first two, this one right here and this one right here, pass through the gatekeeper while this third one is left behind and deleted. So I'm gonna hit play and start and now you'll see that two are able to pass through instead of just one. So that's a quick explanation of the gatekeeper feature. I hope you thought this was useful and I hope you find some creative ways to use it in your games. All right, everybody, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe.